In this video, we'll discuss what you should keep in your pipe case. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel, I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, commenting below with your thoughts on what you might keep in your case or anything else, and sharing this video with any other pipers that you might know. But now, on with the video. I wanted to talk today about what every piper should keep in their pipe case, and we're going to talk kind of a, a basic, bare bones amount of stuff, all the way up to probably overkill and able to rebuild a pipe band level of equipment. But the idea with each of these is to try to be able to fit it within a standard case. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the basic, I would say essentials that you should have in your pipe case. Here we have an older style hard case that were very common for years and years and years. I'll, they've been phased out in modern times for this style case here which uh, many, many pipers are using. Uh, something along this, not necessarily the Bagpiper brand, but this style of case or something similar. And then I also recently made a video featuring my Pelican 1510. I'll talk all about the supplies I keep in this, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. If you have one of these older style cases, they don't tend to have any sort of pockets or anything anywhere. Some of them have a little compartment off to the side, the pipe major style ones. Um, but a lot of them didn't have that. So how are you going to keep your supplies? I like to use just a basic, this is like a Ziploc brand, but it can be whatever, uh, plastic little container. I like a screw top lid. Things don't tend to fall out. If it's just a snap on lid, they tend to come off in the middle of, tr you know, travel and transport and everything. And you end up having your stuff all over the case. And that's no good. We go open it up. And the first thing you're going to see is what? Well, some wadded up tissue no it's actually um paper towels which can be useful in their own way if you need to clean up something or who knows what but the biggest reason i have them in here is i want to keep the contents of this bin from shaking as much as possible i want to try to keep them relatively secure it doesn't have to be perfect but i find that helps and it's always nice to have a couple paper towels first off i'm going to say there's pdfs in the description down below with checklists for the various uh setups we have here so you can uh, don't have to keep track right now of what's in here. You can just download the PDF below. All right, so what do I have in here? Well, if you saw my video on what to keep in your sporin, it's going to seem probably largely similar. And on the day of a contest or a gig, a lot of these contents will probably go from the case, or in this case, this little supply bin, into my sporin. I have a spare chantery. These little tubes, I think this was a McClellan brand, but I'm not certain. But uh, it's got a screw on cap. It's durable but plastic and i got a little bit of bubble wrap at the very top i don't think you're gonna be able to make it out but there's some bubble wrap at the very top to keep the reed safe it's not going anywhere in there what else do i have i have a spare moose valve i have a moose valve already in the pipes ready to go but i like a spare i don't want to be caught on the day with a failed valve if you don't use a moose valve well i do highly recommend them i'll eventually do a review on why I like these so much, but they're super cool. And even if you use a flapper valve, if you have a spare moose valve and the flapper valve fails, you can stick it in. All that being said, if you just want to keep a spare flapper valve in here, that's fine too. Just be prepared because you never know when your flapper is going to go out. What else do I have in here? I have some lip balm. So I always kept some lip balm. I like to Burt's in particular, but some lip balm. And if it's cold outside and you need a little help keeping a seal, it can help. I have my Channer tuning tape. I have some hemp. This is waxed hemp. If you're just going to carry one spool of some sort of string, uh, even with all the different strings I've used, if you're going to keep one spool, I'd make it um, yellow waxed hemp. I like yellow just for another reason. You can see it against the case. If it was black and it fell out of here, and it was just wandering around in the case, it could be hard to find. And the pre-wax stuff, it goes on well. It tends to stick to itself. I have some hemp seal, and this is actually in an earplug container of all things. Finally, the stoppers. I got the, the three drone stoppers, and I have four stoppers for the bag, because if you're testing the bag in the moment, you only need four. You're going to have your blowpipe in one of them anyways. And there's not a lot of room in here, so you can see I just, you know, if you know you're going to be using your drone stoppers a lot, you might even want to maybe travel with them in the pipes or have them maybe in a Ziploc baggie on top. Um, I tend to just, if I need to turn off my drones, I tend to just tap them off. So I don't use these very often. So I'm just, I keep them at the bottom. And you should probably have some earplugs in here as well. I um, have my Shure um, Bluetooth 
uh, in-ear monitors that I use for both earplugs and to listen to my metronome. So my earplugs are right here. But uh, a spare set of just cheapy foam ones wouldn't be a bad idea to keep in there. I don't happen to have that in here at the moment. So that's the little supply bin that you can put in a classic style case like this. And what else do I have in this case? I've got my tube trap here. This is a, these are my Robbies. They're still tied into a Banatine synthetic bag. They're not on a, a goatskin bag yet. And as we go around, I have a large auto drying towel. These are relatively inexpensive. They're pretty big. This one's a waffle weave, so it's nice and absorbent. In these kind of cases, the drones just tend to like flop all over the place. So having a towel like this can be really useful to kind of wrap around the various parts of your bagpipe so that the drones aren't clanking together, uh, especially on the pipes made, I would say, in the 90s and much of the 2000s, and some makers are still using it. It's a resin material that tends to be very brittle and chips readily. So anything you can do to kind of protect the pipes uh, would be a good idea here. I have a couple of brushes, want to keep the pipes clean, and I also tend to keep my reed poker in my case. Now I have a cork stopper at the end. Obviously you don't want that rummaging around your bag and poking things, and I often actually secure it even with an additional piece of tape just to make sure it doesn't go on, but this is too big to fit in here so it's got to go just in this case again i don't actually use this case i just put my pipes in here today to demonstrate but if i were to have this in the case which i i do recommend having a reed poker it's super helpful um i would probably try to secure it even additionally to just this little top practice channer i got my channer blow pipe and then the pipes themselves and everything fit in there quite nicely we're going to pack it all back up real quick put those back in And then we have our towel right here. Go ahead and wrap it around a couple of the drones real quick. And the towel also kind of helps any extra space keeping things from moving. You don't want a lot of stuff jostling around in your case. That, that's when you start damaging stuff. And just like that, you have all the basics you need for most anything you're going to encounter on the pipes. But what if you want to be more thorough? Let's talk about the next level. These duffel bag style cases have become very popular. They don't offer a lot of protection, but they are very good at storing the instrument and a lot of stuff with it. All right, so what do we have inside? We have a large auto drying towel. If you have to lay your pipes out over say a table or something, you could put this down first so you don't have to get any you know, dirt or, or whatever on the, the pipes, which is always nice. So in here, I'm gonna immediately take out the Robbies again. I packed them in here. So again, we just have the, the bag and drones, tube trap, practice channer, pipe channer and blow pipe. I actually have exactly the same bin from the other one. I actually just took it over here. Now, there's a couple reasons for it and it's maybe about being lazy a little bit. Now this case does have additional, there's two pockets on top for storage. There's a pocket in the front for storage. There's pockets on the side for storage. I could unload this and I could put these maybe in separate Ziploc baggies in here so that things don't just fall to the bottom they're easy to find having it in a bin like this is nice it's readily accessible i can take it out so i would still probably use this but you do have these other areas to store things but what am i storing in these other things i have my brushes actually over here just so i don't have to worry about any of the metal i don't think it would be particularly destructive to the pipes and i typically have them under the towel but still it's nice having another pocket along with the reed poker in another pocket so things I don't have to worry about damaging. But I have some extra supplies in here too. So I have my McClens, which I didn't really feel there was room for. And um, notice I do have it in a Ziploc baggie to try to protect it from everything else. But uh, it's nice having it in a separate pocket where even if it did leak, it's not gonna just drench the pipes or bag or anything else. But it's nice having some sort of cleaning product to keep everything sterile. Okay, also in here, these are some of my favorite things. They're called wristies. And um, if you haven't seen them, it's basically just a, a little fleece tube with a thumb hole. But man alive, do these come in handy if you're at a cold gig. So like this, you're playing, it does not impede the finger motion at all. And then when you get cold, you can tuck your hand in and kind of like warm it back up a little bit when you're not playing. Super helpful. And I try to keep these in my pipe case all the time, not just during the winter because the first winter gig, 
of course I'm going to forget them. I also have some extra zip ties. Um, in a pinch, you could probably even use the wax temp from the bin here should your cords come undone. But it's nice having some uh, zip ties right here. So what else do I have in here? Well, if we come over to the side pocket, I actually just have some business cards because it's always good to have business cards. So in the lid, I now have, uh, I still have the one spare reed in here set up and ready to go, but maybe because I'm a pipe major or whatever. Well, I have my, my reed container here. So I have a review. I'll put a card up about this. This is great because it stores uh, several reeds with a, a moisture packet. So it's really nice. Um, I also in here tend to carry a little bit of sandpaper to take care of a crow and uh, a blade. So obviously if you were flying, you would not take the blade. I wouldn't take the poker either if you were flying. I have, you know, my extra pipe band reeds right here. This little pocket is pretty nice on this because it's the perfect size to store these and not have them move around a lot. And then over here, what extra stuff do I have in the case? I have actually, of all things, I have a spare bass drone reed. So in an emergency, it's pretty unlikely that both of my tenors are gonna go out. Um, hopefully both are working great, but if one starts not working great, I can just cork it either from the top or if I wanna be a little bit uh, hidden, I can somehow cork it from underneath. If you have a zipper bag, you can take a large stopper and stop the bottom of the stock that way. That's a great way to do it. Um, that said, I have an Easy Drone inverted base. Now for me and in my pipes, these Easy Drone inverted bases tend to be plug and play. I can just stick it into the base and it will play. I can just inflate the bag. I don't even have to strike these things in. But that being said, should something happen to the base drone, I don't have a spare, well, I do right here. Um, should something happen to the base drone, uh, the reed itself, it's nice to have a spare. Again, it's just, if you're prepared, you're probably not gonna have any problems. This is some cobbler's wax and some beeswax. This is going to let me do a little bit more thorough job of say hemping a joint should a joint completely fail on the day. I could cobbler's wax the, the tenon and the initial string and then coat anything with beeswax I need. And then in this side pocket, I have my multi-tool. I talk about this thing quite a lot. This is a Leatherman Wave. Yes, the Leatherman Wave. It's great. It's got a saw. That's not really helpful. It's got a knife. Again, if you're flying, you wouldn't take it. It's got a pair of pliers. It's got a pair of scissors. And these actual little scissors right here are about my favorite thing to cut those zip ties with when I'm putting on cords. It's just really easy to get in exactly where I need to. They're probably pretty dull at this point to cut anything but zip ties, but that's what I use it for. And they're still working great. And it's got screwdrivers and everything else. So this multi-tool can be a big lifesaver. Oh, and then finally, this is the one thing I actually do rather like about this case. It's got like a keychain holder in here and I have it attached to my in-ear monitor shore uh, earphones, earplugs right here. It's just kind of nice knowing that it's not gonna come all the way out of the case. So just a little extra security is nice. These are the things I would include in a case of this style. If you play with a moisture control system that has some sort of canister or tubes or something that more complicated than say the tube trap that we already showed, obviously you would pack that in the case with everything else. Now we're gonna to go to my primary pipe case. This is the case I use, you know, all the time for all of the gigs and the things I do with my pipes. So let's see what's going on inside this particular guy. Now what I love about this Pelican case is this lid insert. It's the 1519 insert and it's got one, two, three, four, five separate pockets that make it super easy to help organize all your storage. They're mesh fronts so you can see inside them easily. The towel is going to help protect the pipes from anything up here in the lid. So let's take a look at the lid. In this compartment here, I have my, again, the in-ear monitors I'm using as earplugs right now. And the rest of this compartment is pretty much hemping. I guess I have my channer tape in here as well. Cobbler's wax and beeswax. For those of you that watch all my videos, I'm actually doing a bit of experiment using some yellow linen hemp, some real hemp, as well as some polyester string and comparing and contrasting how well those work. So in this, I actually have all three. I have, you know, the real hemp. I have the wax linen hemp. I even have some black waxed hemp. I have black polyester thread and some goldenrod polyester thread. And then I have my hemp seal. The next pocket down, this is, now I have a couple of pens in here. I have some zipper grease. 
Down here, I have all of my stoppers. I have drone stoppers, large stoppers for the stocks. My lip balm is down here. And then finally, actually my moose tool. And I wanted to point out on my moose tool, I tend to put a little bit of tape, moose tool. It helps get the valve out specifically. This is the chanterid storage. I have all of the various chanterids in here. I have, again, that same pack that I talked about just briefly a minute ago. And then I have the rest of my pipe bands reeds right here. Um, ready in the case for pipe band practice, ready to go. So this pocket, I have my poker, and I feel much better with it secured uh, in another area and not just resting against the bag. That said, I still have it in uh, a cork stopper that's pretty, you know, nicely on there. So it's not really going to go anywhere, but don't let your bag get poked. So I got my poker. I have some McClens in here. I have that spare channer reed in here. I have my spare drone reed in here. Oh, that's right here. There's my spare drone reed, a spare moose valve. This happens to be a brand new unopened one and uh, the zip ties. So a lot of this stuff kind of carried over from the last case review. But again, I like that I can see it all right here. And then the final pocket. I have my business cards, always useful. Don't leave home without them. And then I have my wristies and then, oh, what do we have here? I actually tend to, and if you find my case, please don't rob me. Um, at least not, a, well, don't rob me at all. But I tend to keep some cash in my case. The other cases weren't actually my cases. I just put my pipes in there to demonstrate. If they were, I'd probably have either a 20. Uh, it's even nicer if I have some smaller denomination bills. I just don't right now. But it is hidden. It's not out in the middle and everywhere to see. But uh, so I have my wristies for keeping my hands warm. I got a little extra cash because you just never know. You need a tank of gas on the way home or you need a sandwich at a festival and the credit card machine's down. Just it, it's useful to have some some currency on you. And so that's everything in the lid and nicely uh, organized, packed away, easy to see. And just so people don't think I forgot. Yeah, there's these things. You're going to bring that if it means something to you. I didn't think I needed to spell it out as something to include in your case. You do you. Be safe. Be responsible. Um, but yeah. Obviously, there's probably going to be a few people with these at any of the games you're attending. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please think about subscribing to the channel. The more subscribers I have, the easier it is for me to make this kind of content. Like the video, share it with any pipers you know. Comment below, as I've already said, with your thoughts on anything I'm doing. And I'd love it if you would consider signing up as a patron through my Patreon account. That's a small monthly donation, as small as $1 a month, that goes a long way to helping me afford to make these kind of videos. I love doing it, and the more support I get from the community, the easier it is to do. All right, guys. Well, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, cheers. Cheers.